Hello everybody. Uh, it's been a while since I've done an update. I, uh, <laughs> real life got real busy and uh, I haven't taken my camera around with me. I'm, uh, it's, uh, Monday morning and, or Tuesday morning, I guess. I've lost track of days even. Um, and I'm currently out doing my, uh, usual, well, not usual, <laughs> every other day or so if I can do it, morning hike up at Coraville Lake. Um, out here is usually where I plop myself out on the rocks and sun myself and read for an hour or so. Um, but I came up this morning having been absent for about three, four days. Um, I pulled something in my neck and it really hurt. So I was trying to baby it and not doing a lot of physical stuff till it got better. Um, so I haven't been out here. And I came to discover that my rocks are covered by a bazillion little red bug things all around the lake. Um, I don't even know what they are. They look like a cross between a spider and an ant, but they're so tiny that without a magnifying glass I can't look at them any closer. Bright red, when you squish them, they look like blood, so obviously they're red because their blood is close to the surface, and that's about all they are, but um, I really don't know what they are, but I didn't fancy um, sharing my seat or my legs or my breakfast or anything else with them, so um, I opted to uh, squat up here and do my video, and then I will uh, take my breakfast and my reading and go down to the beach on the dam <laughs> and lay out there on the sand and uh, and avoid the bugs. So that's a uh, that's it with that. Um, things have just been kind of busy. Um, I went home here a week or so ago. Um, spent some time with my mom and uh, works. They're transferring back to Iowa City at work, which is good. Um, finally, I. Uh, won't be making this hour-long commute, which will make me very happy. I was thinking of moving to Quad Cities, but some stuff that's happened down there has just convinced me to stay up here, and I will look for some sort of a timeshare or something that will um, not lock me into a year-long lease. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, i got to move here next month or, or July at the latest. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Crazy with that. But they're moving me back, and so I'm kind of doing both. I was down at Quad Cities this morning, and, and uh, the rest of the week I'm working up here at Iowa City and that'll be nice. And then it also means I can get out here at Coral Bell in, in the mornings and do my hiking and stuff before the, it gets really hot. It's been in the 80s. It's actually, it's probably, I'd say, about 80 degrees right now. Um, and uh, it's quite nice. It's, it's still, it's not noon yet. It might be 10.30 maybe. Um, which is, you know, it's not the heat of the day yet. It's good to avoid it. I, uh, I've been doing a lot of thinking and gearing up for moving in by myself again and and uh, just living. <laughs> Not too much else to report. Tim stayed out here this summer. I haven't seen him in a couple, well, since I last saw him at home, so a week or so ago. Yeah, I guess that's what it was. Um, but uh, I'm sure I'll meet up with him at some point. I'm kind of hoping we can go skydiving for my birthday, but I'm not holding my breath on that. I, uh, I pretty much committed to going Dragon Con. I was iffy on that, but I've made some commitments to stuff now, and I've bought fabric to uh, put together a couple of Amazon outfits. So, that's another good reason I'm out here hiking. I want to get myself back into shape so I can actually make it look good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's, that's a go. I'm looking forward to it. And, uh, fall ball's no go right now. I'm going to try my darndest to get myself to England around Christmas time. Um, no guarantees, but, you know, and Gemma, I'm sure you're going to watch this because you're the one that told me I had to do a video, so I am going to try to get out there sometime around Christmas. I wanted to come in July for Nina's wedding, but with the airfares right now, I just, I, I can't afford a thousand dollars. I just, it isn't going to happen. So, that one's kind of looking like it ain't going to work, but I'm going to try for it for the holidays. We'll see what happens. Um, and, uh, and then hopefully, if I can get some pieces together, I've started the process, but I've got I've been procrastinating really, really badly the last week on a piece of it that I need to get in, and um, if it all goes well, then I may be uh, permanently headed out of Iowa City in end of February. We'll see what happens, but I'm excited about that too, and if it doesn't work, well, it doesn't work, and we'll keep looking at options, but it's good. I'm missing people, and uh, looking forward to p going to Red's... Um, Renaissance Fest get together in Missouri next month and Pirates opening is this weekend. We're supposed to have a couple of tower folks coming. Unfortunately, I was thinking they were coming opening night, so I got Friday off, but I couldn't get Saturday and nope, we're going Saturday. So I don't know if I'm going with them to see Pirates or not. 
Um, Suzanne may have to entertain our guests, and I may have to go to Quad Cities and work. Well, I know I have to go to Quad Cities and work, but I, I may not go to the movie with them. I may just end up going by myself. So we'll see. You know, not the end of the world, but I was a little bit miffed isn't the word, but it was like, oh, okay, that's great to find out when it's too late to change anything. Um, so yeah, that's <laughs> you live life. But uh, hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely out here. I'm enjoying these solitude walks. I've been coming out here. I got a place up at, at Cedar Rapids I want to check out. And uh, I go out and rollerblade this neat trail east of our apartment that I found. And when I'm not doing that, I'm tending to be doing Taibo and Pilates. So I've, I've been enjoying the physical exercise and, and just keeping active and watch. I'm finally starting to watch what I eat and cut the sugar out. That's been making the biggest impact in the caffeine. Well, and actually, I take that back. I'm back on caffeine this week. I've been drinking a heck of a lot of coffee um, just to keep functioning at work because I've been so worn out. But I haven't been drinking the sugared caffeine. That's I'm staying off the soda pop, pretty much water and tea and and coffee exclusively. So that uh, I'm, it's making a difference. I'm I'm feeling better. So we'll keep it up, and uh, it'll be nice to be able to afford to buy fresh veggies again. <laughs> I'm not putting all my money. What is up with the freaking gas prices? Oh my gosh. It was, um, what was it, February? I'd have to go look in my live journal, but February, I'm pretty sure it was, we were down to a dollar eighty-five a gallon, and uh, I was ecstatic, because it was the first time I'd been on two dollars in like three years. And then, here we are three, mo three months later? March, February, March, April, yeah, three months later, and we're paying three twenty-three a gallon in Iowa. This is like the cheapest state on the planet. And we're paying 3.23 a gallon. I'm choking. I'm absolutely choking. We didn't pay gas prices this high after Hurricane Katrina. Georgia hit really high, and and round you know Louisiana and Alabama paid really high. And that was when we went to Dragon Con. We drove that year, and we didn't have. We were choking on the prices then, but we didn't have to pay over 3.10 a gallon. And I think the one time we paid close to that was we played 3.09 in Ohio. And it's 3:23 in Iowa. I just, I'm flabbergasted. And this, this is gonna hurt. It hurts me, you know. I'm. It just made my ten dollars in gas to get to and from work at night up to fifteen. I, I put gas in yesterday, and I put gas in today, and it was fourteen dollars and seventy cents. It cost me to make one trip to Quad Cities. <laughs> it's nuts, you know. That's an hour and a half of work for me. I, ca I can't afford that. I cannot afford that. And. Um, you know, I, I feel for people of fixed incomes and low incomes, you know, like where I am. It's, it, it kills you when you've got you've to have your car. People in other countries, I get into more discussions with my foreign friends about gas prices, and they're like, well, be something that's not the price that we have here. And, yeah, I know that, but and we don't have the mass transit. It's, it's not economical to have the mass transit. There's too much space, you know. i got to drive 65 miles to get to work. There is no train. There is no bus. I have to drive it. And, you know, if you live in town, Iowa City is a college town, so it does have a bus service and you can get around. But unless you live in a major city or a town like that, you're screwed if you don't have vehicle access. And we rely on our cars. That's how we get places. And so we, we can't afford gas at those astronomical prices. So I'm hoping it goes down because it's um, putting a crimp and stuff. And, you know, of course, it makes airfares more expensive and it makes bus fares more expensive. And it, it just it compounds everything. I'm not, I'm not getting happy at travel costs, you know, because that's one of my biggest things that I do, is travel. Oh, dead ant. Um, but anyway. Oh well. You know. That's the way it goes, I guess. Hopefully, I don't, six months, I'll be out and about. And <laughs> not on a drive, but we'll see. Anyway, um, I better close this. I have no idea how long it's been. I have not been keeping track of time. And, um... Gemma, I hope that you are well, and I'm glad to hear about Hannah, and you two need to email me and uh, fill me in on what's going on in the lovely UK, and uh, I will uh, try to keep up on these video posts and remember to throw in my uh, camera in my car and do something on the way home from work, so, or at least bring it out here on hikes with me, it's a good spot, but, um, yep, if anyone who wants to watch this, uh, hope you're well, and uh, take care, and more later.